But who wrote this? Who produced this? Who who decided to push Little Tay into the music industry? Alright, so look, Little Tay, the one that everybody thought died. Yeah, apparently she didn't die. She got her reboot car got picked up. Lou Kang reset the timeline. I don't know what happened, but she's not dead. She dropped a song called Sucka for Green. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest Little Tay fan. I'm not, I'm not. But I was just curious as to see what her lyrical ability is. What is her what does her musical talent look like in the year of 2023? I'm not expecting much. <laughs> Let's get straight to it, bruh. This beat's already trash. We're two seconds in and this beat's already pissing me off. This looks like some victorious Nickelodeon Dan Schneider type of like intro, bro. They had to have done this fucking edit, like this editing on like CapCut or some shit. This beat is still pissing me off. I walked in the party, no friends on my arm. What she said? I walked in the party. All right, all right. I walked in the party, no friends on my arm. You got my attention, like a fire alarm. Bro, you got my attention like a fire alarm. More than likely, she didn't write this. Who wrote this for? Who in their right mind thought, yeah, this is a, this lyrical composition is something on par. Like, ah, who wrote this? I'm not, I'm not expecting Kendrick Lamar level writing. I'm not expecting J. Cole, but like, God damn, you got my attention like a fire alarm. Get I don't want to lose ya. I don't want to lose ya. I'm just looking through ya. You see my Medusa. Money, money, money. Money, money. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. First impressions, this shit sounds like trash. This shit sounds like some shit I hear at fucking H&M. <laughs> Fashion Nova. Uh, Forever 21. Side note, side note. Uh, really irrelevant, but why are 40-year-olds, you know, shopping at Forever 21? Hmm? Hmm? Do you not read the sign? Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's a little side. My fault, my fault. That's a little side tangent, but whatever. We're back to the video. I just can't look away. Actually, you know, fuck all that. I'm bringing it back. Yeah, it's my little gray, bro. If you're aging, like, pushing 40, pushing 50, why are you shopping at Forever 21? Like, consistently? Like, I understand going there once in a while if you're, like, your grandkid or your granddaughter, whatever the fuck, just to, just to, you know, relive the glory days. But if you're consistently shopping at Forever 21, why? At your age, at your old-ass age, why? I want it, want it, want it. Honestly, it's not that bad. Not gonna lie. This is on par with Ariana <laughs> it's on par with Ariana Grande's best work. On par with Taylor Swift's best song. Bro, these dance moves are killing me. Who choreographed this? Dude, she's her neck has to be in shambles right now, bro. Like, look at that, bro. Her neck's in shambles. Some's calling it a sick obsession. Nothing wrong with being rich and blessed. And I just want a few yachts and mansions right now. Right now. Oh my. <laughs> that outlet physically made me just like cringle up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I just want a few yachts and mansions right now. Mm. Err, right now, err. Damn, that's 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 an ad lib. That's an ad lib. I go last, not that bad. It's kind of after you get rid of the, the beginning is trash, but <laughs> yeah, once you get to the hook, it's not that bad. But who wrote this? Who produced this? Who who decided to push Little Tay into the music industry? My this is what I think happens. Little Tay, you know, grew up a little bit, as you can see. And she decided to want to pursue the music industry, which is all cool and all well. So she faked her death. <laughs> she faked her death. 
I'm, I'm assuming, allegedly, I don't know. I don't know any about the uh, any legal assumptions. But she faked her death as a PR move, I'm assuming. And now she's put on the map. I mean, low key, I gotta respect that. That's a <laughs> she's hustling. She faked her death to get put on. <laughs> you gotta respect that. Just like the music industry, man. <laughs> it's coming and it's going so. What would I do without ya? We got a little thing. Cause all I want is your dollar sign. Bro, what subliminal messages are in this song? Watch me like in the next few days transform into this fucking red pill conservative man or some shit. <laughs> I just, the, brand, the sound waves from this song are just changing me. Already solidified in the music industry. Got me spending it all the time. Ooh, it's the way you keep looking at me. The only good part of my can the hook. The hook and chorus, that shit, that shit not that bad. I ain't gonna lie, shit not that bad. But the verses, I mean, it's little Tay. I'm not expecting much. But he's, he's just, these are some lyrics. I just can't look away from it. I wanna, wanna, want it. You got me screaming at the top of my lungs. I must be dreaming. I can't get enough. You got me dripping off that look in your eyes. What you do to me? I just peeped. She said you got me dripping off that look in your eyes. Isn't she 12? Oh my god, that's disgusting. Ew, 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 ew. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have thought. I shouldn't, oh my god, I shouldn't have listened to that. Ah, that's disgusting, bro. What the fuck? Why does she have a fire? <laughs> uh, how much does this whole production cost? I'm curious, you know, how much did this whole setup, the, the producer, the background dancers, the, the golden flamethrower, how much did this all cost? Alright, whatever, um, Lil Tay's sucker for green, she really clutched the gulag to make a fucking H&M trailer music. This is honestly on par with, uh, what makes people bad? <laughs> What's that motherfucking name? Oh, I forgot his fucking name, what was his name? Uh, ah, I forgot his name. Henry Styles, that's what it is. Henry Styles. Mmm, let me cook, let me cook. I miss <laughs> Henry. Alright, Harry Styles. This is all part of his music, I'm not gonna lie. Who, whose song is better? The Lil Tay Sucker for Green or Henry or Harry Styles' whole discography? We making it out the crematory with this one. Making it out the coffin with this one. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, bro. The, the hook isn't that bad. I'm not gonna lie, the hook isn't that bad. It's the most most soulless hook but it's not bad it's just mid the verses though they're there they're they're a verse that's it's it was written i don't even know if she wrote it she probably didn't write it she probably didn't write it but if she didn't it honestly doesn't matter but yeah that, that's little taste sucker for green man and if you suck it out this far man i truly 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 do appreciate you thank you and that's the video man peace